20th century uh, viaduct flyovers are threatening to fall prey to rust due to the leaking expansion joints. Salt water leaks onto the end of the concrete girders. This salt water then attacks the reinforcement bars, resulted in concrete cracking and spalling. If nothing is done, serious damage is caused to the structure, which can only be repaired at a huge cost along with significant traffic problems. Cathodic protection with electric current is the solution that gives the flyovers a second life. Uh, the bridge decks consist of prefabricated girders laying next to each other, as you can see. At the end, uh, the girders uh, lay uh, on uh, the piers and the abutments. These locations are hard to reach and difficult to repair. This is why we came up uh, with a solution um, to conserve uh, the structures and uh, without any traffic disturbance. Cathodic protection is a long-standing uh, solution to stopping the corrosion process of steel, for example using zinc. However, zinc is not an option here, because uh, deep inside the concrete there are post-tensioning bars which also suffer for corrosion. Therefore we use an electric current. This guarantees us that there is enough power to stop the corrosion process inside. And uh, with this we can also exactly manage the amount of current needed. The current is uh, generated sustainably by the use of uh, solar panels. Deep inside uh, the concrete are uh, uh, electrodes measuring the exact amount of current needed. With this system we some, uh, froze the condition of these girders. Uh, we have uh, used it in some 40 uh, viaducts already. And um, with this we can guarantee at least 20 years of extra service life so the viaducts uh, won't have to be demolished. 